Uh, okay. This is a gentleman, Randy Bucknoff. I, I call him a gentleman. Randy. <laughs> uh, don't push it, Randy. Uh, who came into my life as a fan, just as a fan who from Bridgeport, Connecticut, and he was a, a persistent fan, let me put it that way, and grew up watching the show and so on, who has grown now to really be a very important part of my life because um, he started a wonder on website and all that, and I found it a couple of years ago, uh, started a, a, a Facebook page, a website, the Sunny Fox TV website, and there were a lot of kids wanted to still stay in touch, I thought, okay, let me do that. I didn't know what to do with it. I finally called Randy up, I said, you want to take this over and do this for me? So he is, so he runs my website, and he does a lovely job, if anybody wants to go up under sunnyfoxtv.com, and there are clips from the show, and there are memories of people who have been on the show, and so on. So anyway, I have no idea what he's going to say, and uh, I, okay, but, but I trust you implicitly. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, yes, I'm a wonder Rama kid. I first sort of met Sonny Fox on television. I was maybe six years old. And um, I grew up watching wonder Rama, or at least for the time that Sonny was on the show. Years went by, and as an adult, I wondered what happened to Sonny Fox. And I found a website about television called TV Party, and he had his um, email address on it. So I wrote him a memory. I said, dear Sonny, I learned how to make scrambled eggs. On one day. <laughs> so within an hour, I got an email, and I wasn't expecting this at all. And he told me that it was his son who was on Wonderama and made the scrambled eggs. So Sonny's family helped me learn how to cook. <laughs> I also just want to say happy birthday to both of you, and thank you for inviting me to this lovely fair. Very happy to be here. But I want to take a trip. Let's take a trip with Sonny. The year is April 1945. Sonny wrote a book of memoirs called, But You Made the Front Page. Well, according to the Brooklyn Eagle in 1945, it says, free Brooklyn GI's home, happy get 60 day leaves, whose picture is on the center of the front page of the Brooklyn Eagle, but Sergeant Earl and Fox. Now, I just want to point out that this is a hometown paper, and even if it's the Brooklyn Eagle, and you can tell because buried in the bottom corner, now remember, his picture's in the center, it says, Hitler kills Hitler. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I just thought, as a family memory, you'd like to have a copy of that. <laughs> and, and there's more. Assuming that Sonny wrote, but you made the front page, after seeing that, I thought you should change the title to, but you always made the front page, extra, Sergeant Sonny Fox comes home for 60 days, Himmler kills Hitler. 